Hello and welcome to InstaForex Financial News Channel. I'm Marina Generalova. More and more participants joined the process of de-dollarization. Following the United Kingdom, Italy, France and Germany, Switzerland also joined the launch of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. The so-called AIIB was introduced by the Chinese authorities as an alternative to travel to the World Bank, headed by Washington. The official representatives of Bern announced that they considered joining new financial structure, thus strengthening relations with Beijing. Such attempts to get closer to China followed the support of the European Commission. The European Commissioners pointed out that investments in the Asian infrastructure provide new prospects for the development of the European business. Being under the US pressure, Australia, Japan and South Korea stayed out of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. However, after the recent extensions of this institution, Australia announced a possible review of its decision. Also the other day, the meeting of the finance ministers of China, Japan and South Korea was held in Seoul, where most likely economic issues and possible integration into the AIIB were discussed. Washington is concerned about such situation. U.S. experts hasten to say that all the credits provided by the AIIB will be channeled only to the implementation of the Chinese economic plans, such as extension of China's goods and services experts. However, Americans cannot prove it. On Friday, managing director of the International Monetary Fund, Christine Lagarde, gave the Chinese economist advice on how to turn a developing country into a developed one. To make it, China's economy needs more moderate and stable growth rates and also flexibility in order to avoid the middle income trap. Therefore, the Chinese enterprises have to pay attention to innovations and industrial diversification. However, this is exactly what the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank was launched for. You were watching Financial News on InstaForex TV. Bye, see you later.